Arizona State has fired their head coach of the last nine seasons, Herb Sendek, Kerry Chow, alongside Andy Katz. Andy, before the season, he was even extended a year, so why is he out? Well, a lot of times those extensions are done just for recruiting purposes. Uh, it was a, essentially a one-year extension that got him through 2017. Uh, look, for the most part, it's because they've not exceeded a level. Uh, two NCAA tournaments during that tenure. Uh, they've had their moments where they've knocked off Arizona in back-to-back -back years, but not been able to sort of take it to that next level. In a conference, really, where there is a lot of movement below Arizona, and you've got your rival there in Arizona who's sort of sucking up all the oxygen from the conference. And so it's a very competitive situation, and they want the program to take that next step. Very good coach, very cerebral. Um, one at NC State, one at times at Arizona State, but has not been able to sort of take that next step, and that's apparently why they made the move. Especially with that rivalry against the Wildcats. Uh, who are the lead candidates to replace him? Well, it's going to be very interesting because I think more than anything you're going to see them go for a little bit more energy. And that, if there's a knock on Herb Sendek, it is that he's a little bit reserved, although very funny guy that a lot of people don't know that, he, you know, uh, yeah, the curtain of distraction. I mean, he likes a lot of these elements. He just, you don't see that as much. He's not as much of an extrovert. Arizona, former Arizona player, current Memphis head coach, Josh Pastner. Um, if they call, he definitely would be interested. Duke assistant head coach, Jeff Capel, who was the head coach at Oklahoma, could be a name in the mix. UC Irvine's Russell Turner, who got them to the NCAA tournament. If they go to a bigger name, former Arizona player now on the Arizona bench and Damon Stoudemire. There are going to be a lot of interesting names for this job. It's a very good job. And certainly in a conference like the Pac-12, you can move up pretty quickly. Yeah, a lot of interesting names there, especially Damon Stoudemire, the former University of Arizona standout. I see, I don't think this is a situation where you'd say, oh, they're not going to hire someone who's at the rival, uh, where you're not going to see like Duke ever hire a Carolina guy and vice versa. Um, I, at, at that school, it's okay. Uh, the rivalry is intense at times, but not to where you cannot take someone from the other side. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I think you're going to see some of those names cycle through. At least some interest right there. All right, Andy Katz, I'm Carrie Chow. Thanks for watching.